So Amber has been wanting to get a new bicycle. So came up here to Westfield and looked at a couple just regular pedal bikes, but I've really been trying to talk her into an electric bike, but she didn't want to spend the money. And she kind of doesn't really, she never ridden one, kind of refuses to ride one, but um, I just know she'll like it. Yeah. So I'm in here at Westfield, I'm supposed to be buying my wife this white bike right here for it's a nice bike 500 bucks but she's gonna be mad because I'm actually coming home with this electric bike here so she just doesn't know that she wants it yet so I've got the bike loaded up and back there we're gonna head home and see if we can talk her into keeping one. Think she'll wanna keep it? I don't know. Do you like it? Sure, I guess. It's too nerdy for you, isn't it? For me? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Well, Daisy thinks she gets to try that. Oh wait, it's not white. Austin, <laughs> I do not want an e-bike. <laughs> you have to ride it. No. Take Jesse, it back. no. No. Jesse said you have to ride it. No. You have to ride Austin, it. Austin, this is not. No. Put no. the put the baby down. <laughs> Come on. Get over here and ride it. Where's the other one? We're not I didn't even this. bring it. No. <laughs> I don't want this. Yeah. Right. Get off of it, Cooper. No. Right. No. Come on. No. Get on it. I do, this is not what I want. This is so okay. You can ride it without, and but just see that you can still it. pedal it. Austin, go. This is stupid. <laughs> no, it's not. Yes, it is. Oh man, that looks nice. Why do I even need this? You do. So hey guys, as you can see in the video there, we kind of tricked my wife into uh, getting this e-bike. Um, I'd kind of been intrigued by this whole e-bike thing that seems to be picking up a lot of momentum in the past year. But as you can see in the video, she was totally against the e-bike thing, um, just based off the price. And a lot of people, they do bulk at the price of these e-bikes um, being so expensive. But this bike comes in right around 3,500 bucks. You can't really put this in with a pedal bike. It is such a different experience. It's kind of in between the bicycle and the motorcycle range. You know, you have no issues spending four, five, six, even $10,000 on a off-road bike or motorcycle. So this is completely different. Uh, it's definitely not just a pedal bike, so you can't really make that comparison. But either way, uh, this again is the Scott Axis E-Ride 20. Um, the reason I went with this bike, and by no means am I an expert on, on e-bikes, at the moment I'm, I'm learning more and more about them but what jesse had told me up at westfield and i later researched and i'm finding out the reason i like to go with this bike uh, this bike has uh, the bosch battery and motor and a lot of the other manufacturers i was able to find a trek powerfly and it also has a bosch motor so all the electrical um the the motor and the battery and everything it's all bosch so I really like that about the Scots and the Trek um, because further down the line, once the warranty wears out, if I need to get the bike serviced, there's more of these bikes out here, out there that have this type of battery and parts are going to be more readily available and there's going to be more techs out there that know how to work on this kind of bike. So I also wanted to note real quickly, I'm going to put a link down in the description to a 2021 uh, e-bike shootout channel compares four e-bike motors, the Shimano's new motor, the Bosch Gen 4, uh, the Bros, which is used in the Specialized Levo, and then Yamaha's e-bike motor. Uh, he compares all four of those in that video, and I think uh, you'll be interested to see as far as overall power and doing short climbs, uh, which bike had the best time in that one. It's very, I, wanna, I don't wanna say primitive, not very scientific, but it's just a real world test of uh, four different motors and a guy seeing how fast he can pedal up a short incline uh, with each motor and how fast he gets to the top on each one. This bike comes with a 500 watt hour battery. 
Now I do need to retract that statement in the video that I previously recorded. This bike actually does come with the 625 watt battery, not the 500 that I indicated in the uh, video there. So it is upgradable. Uh, you can add a six, 625 watt hour battery to this battery on turbo mode with a full charge. Uh, it's been varying. Sometimes you, uh, on a full charge, it'll say about 35 miles. A couple other things about the bike that I like uh, for transporting and stuff. It's uh, got some uh, front forks, which add a little bit of cushion to your ride. And then you can also lock those out if you're doing a climb or, or just don't really need that. Nice quick release on that. I like to use that when I'm tying this down in the trailer, taking it to the races. So this bike is a 12 speed. Um, it's got SRAM components. The other nice thing I like about the Scott, all the components are um, really nice components that are gonna last for a while. You have uh, all your Shimano full disc brakes front and back. You've got a nice little carrying rack back here. We haven't really used that much. The other thing I do like about this bike is it does have a headlight and a tail light. So feel a little bit safer on the roads. When we're riding, we didn't have to buy any aftermarket stuff to bolt onto this thing. It's already built into the bike. So that makes it really nice. So I'm just gonna take a moment here and go through all the um, functions on the hand control here. So you just press the top button here. Your display is gonna come on. The bike's gonna initially start up in the off position. So to cycle through your four modes, you just hit the plus sign, minus to go back and even off. Uh, with this bike having the headlight as well as the tail light, uh, the manual wasn't real good about telling you how to turn this on, but I did figure out all you have to do is hold down the plus sign. You're gonna get a little indicator light here, and then your headlight will be on as well as your tail light. I really like the tail light, it's very visible when you're out riding on the road. So, and then again, to toggle that off, just hold down and then it's gonna go off. Um, to cycle through, uh, you have three different um, settings as far as mileage. You have a trip, hold down the minus, it's gonna go over to your total miles, hold down minus again, that's gonna give you a range. So on eco mode, uh, it's, it's gonna change as you cycle through the different speeds that you want your motor helping you out at. This battery is pretty much full and it's telling me on turbo mode that I'm gonna get 37 miles. So cycling back through to the trip, uh, hold this down. Okay, trip, now to reset trip, just hold down plus and minus, and that's gonna reset your trip. Now the other feature that this bike has is walk. So there's a button on the bottom, you hit walk, and before this goes away, if it goes away, it's not gonna do anything. So you can set your mode. I'm gonna back up a little bit here and give myself some room. So this is and this is um, a feature for if you get off, you're on a real steep climb. This bike does weigh 50 pounds, so it is kind of heavy to even push. Um, so the walk mode, hit the bottom and then hold the plus sign and the bike is gonna take off. And as soon as you let off the plus sign, it's gonna stop putting power. 29 inch tires on this thing. And th they do classify this bike as a um, urban bike. So riding around the city, if you wanna go off-road, you can. But for us, we race a lot off-road and sometimes moto. This bike is more than capable of getting around the pits. Currently this bike has 103 miles on it. We've had it for a couple months now. So I figured it was now time to do um, my honest review of the bike. Again, I'm not an expert on bikes or mountain bikes for that matter. I haven't really gotten into them, but we're kind of getting into the e-bike thing because it's a really nice tool for what we do and the racing, um, being able to get around the pits. And then out here where we live, we have a lot of nice back roads. Uh, the other day, me and my wife took a lunch break and we did um, 10 miles on these things just did a quick loop. It only took us 30 minutes. We averaged about a 15 mile an hour speed. And it was a nice ride. I mean, we just got to talk and chat. We weren't out of breath. It's definitely hilly around here. So just drop down into a lower gear and, and uh, let the bike carry you up the regular hills. And if you want to back it down to touring mode or even eco, uh, eco mode, uh, and then you're putting more into it and you can kind of get your heart rate up and you can kind of choose. Um, this bike does weigh about 58 pounds. So 
It is heavy for a bicycle, but the motor more than compensates for that. But if you want to ride this thing without the motors on, it's a pretty good workout. Overall, we're pretty happy with uh, this bike. A couple gripes that I do have on the bike is one, the reason I'm holding the bike up is because we've already broke the kickstand off. Um, the kickstand's pretty far back. I realized they did that to keep it out of the way of the pedals, but um, with the motor and everything, uh, a lot of the weight up here, the kickstand's all the way in the back. It kind of, the bike falls over a lot on the kickstand. The kickstand is adjustable. Um, I figured that out later um, and was able to add a little length to the kickstand, which helped it to not fall over as much, but it's still, unless you're on perfectly level ground and there's not soft ground, uh, this thing's probably gonna fall over if you put the kickstand down and uh, just fell over one too many times. And as it fell over, it, it snapped the kickstand off at the bracket. Got a new one on order. It was only 20 bucks uh, for the replacement kickstand, but that's one of my gripes there. And then my second, you know, it's not nothing huge, but the charging port on the bike, it has this, I don't know if I'd even call it waterproof, but the cap that kind of covers up the, the charging port when, when you're riding, it's kind of funky. It doesn't really go it, it's hard to line up. It's I'm not a big fan of it. Uh, it's just kind of a rubberized flap and I, I think they could have done a little better job on making sure that stays protected. Great bike. Uh, the e-bike thing is definitely taken off. I, I don't I don't anticipate the e-bike thing slowing down anytime soon. The more people that ride these um, and realize what they are and realize that you can't really compare this to a regular pedal bike as far as your investment goes. Some, I've had buddies ride them across the fields at pits and, and their attitude towards, you know, spending $3,500 on a bicycle quickly changes whenever they can get from their trailer to the starting line fairly quickly and they're not out of breath. And then they can get wherever else they need to around the track and they're not out of breath. I think that's about it. Uh, as you can see, she decided to keep the bike. She's very happy with the bike. Uh, once she got past that initial investment of it, um she realized that this is something that we're going to keep for a while and that we're definitely using uh we've definitely used this bike quite a bit since we've purchased it and you know once you get over the initial cost and realize that this isn't just a $3,500 bicycle this is definitely a lot more than that as far as what you're getting for your money so very happy with it but again the scott axis e-ride 20 29 inch wheels, hop on it, pedal, and uh, have a good time. I don't You're off it. Huh? Stop. He just changed yeah. the gear. I'm well, shifting it down. It. Well, you're not supposed to unless it's in motion, Dad said. All right. So it's better than you thought. Well, you I like it. it, but I would have been fine <laughs> probably with the other. Yeah, but you're going to, here in a couple weeks, you'll be like, I'm so glad we did that. I'm it's sure. so much fun. I will fun. say it's prettier than the other, the purple. Yeah. It's nicer than the white. And we got purple so the boys would stay off of it because they won't be caught dead riding it. Good luck with that. When Leo comes out. We already just got big plans to take it when I'm done with it. No, they're not. I think I'll, this will be mine forever. Yeah. All right, I'm going off for my first... Um, You're just going somewhere? What's the... Really? Without a helmet? Oh, sorry. Can I ride it on ECO when she gets done? 44 <laughs> miles, 45 miles to go before it needs to start. On ECO. On ECO. Yep. Switch oh, those gears. Now let's get to some real dirt bikes. Yeah. No. No, you don't have to. <sighs> oh yeah, and it does have a little bell. It's kind of one of my favorite features.